So DNA sequencing is based on our understanding of replication, that is to say, what happens during replication. It is also based on the design of some anti-cancer drugs, on some chemotherapeutic drugs used to battle cancer. So let's talk about that first. Among the various chemotherapies that are intended to attack the ability of cancer cells to grow and reproduce and uh, replicate their DNA, these are things that the cancer cells do more so than other cells. So if you target replication of cancer cells with some kind of chemotherapeutic agent, you can slow down the growth of tumors. And so the idea here is to look at this molecule and see why it is a cancer therapeutic agent. First of all, if you look at it closely and you remember some structures, this is really a nucleotide, isn't it? Well, there's something peculiar about this nucleotide. First of all, it is a deoxynucleotide because it is missing the oxygen on the number two carbon. But if you look closely, the number three carbon is also missing an oxygen. This is called then a dideoxynucleotide. It is missing that number three oxygen, which means that while this nucleotide can be added to a growing chain of DNA because its, it's uh, phosphate end is perfectly okay, it has a triphosphate, it's perfectly good five prime end, if you want to call it that, of the sugar. In other words, the number five carbon has the phosphates on them, but it doesn't have the oxygen on the number three carbon, the OH on the number three carbon, which would be the site of additional nucleotides, of, ex, of, of the next nucleotide. So if this gets incorporated into a growing strand of DNA at its three prime end, no nucleotides can be added. So that made it a, a likely therapeutic agent, and in fact, it is a chemotherapeutic agent to fight cancer. Incidentally, it blocks replication in all cells that are dividing, uh, which is why this anti-cancer drug, and in fact many others that have broad effects that are directed at rapidly div dividing cells, will also attack not so rapidly dividing cells like your stem cells and other cells that simply have to divide in order for you to survive. And the result is, of course, all these pretty horrendous side effects that people taking cancer therapies have to endure. But they do work uh, because they preferentially attack cancer cells, which are growing more rapidly than other cells. This drug was first an anti-cancer drug, but then was co-opted, or the idea was co-opted to do DNA sequencing.